Hi everybody, John E. here, and I thought I would take a moment to explain to the best of my ability and off the cuff uh, talking extemporaneously about what is going on with the PS1 space in the basement of the Jefferson building. And uh, what I've been telling people is all that I know, and that is we are in a bit of a gray area. We were told uh, that we would have to kind of come up with an exit plan for the space, and that um, revolved around the date of July 1st for us um, exiting. And uh, we had some people who wrote some nice letters of support, and I went with uh, another James Gang member, and we talked to the University of Iowa Foundation uh, people and some people from the business office and some people from public safety and uh, kind of listened to their concerns and then proposed to them uh, a chance for us to address those concerns um, by putting forth a proposal for how we could potentially stay in the space longer um, than July. And uh, they liked some of our ideas. Um, we haven't had the chance to really put a formal proposal forth, but I think they're going to work with us a little bit as long as we are addressing the concerns of public safety, uh, which are major concerns for them. Uh, there were other minor concerns, um, us not being a full uh, university student organization, although we do um, obviously uh, work with a lot of student groups and students um, uh, but they were really primarily concerned with uh, the Jefferson building being secure and they've recently put in a proxy card system and they want to kind of stick to the building hours for hours that we would be open which impacts us a little when it comes to weekend nights especially Saturday night, uh, Friday and Saturday night when we do late shows uh, were the one thing in the building that's open past when they can uh, securely monitor the space. Uh, so the the update is is that we're still in a gray area and I am going to be meeting with public safety on Friday, um, this Friday, whatever the date is, I believe it's the 8th. Um, of March, um, the same day we have Patrick Reed's drought behavior opening, so you should all come to that that night. But earlier in the day, I will be meeting with public safety to work on a plan to hopefully allow us to stay in the space, at least hold exhibitions in the space, at least operate uh, within building hours, even if that impacts Friday and Saturday night. Um, as far as performances, that seems like what is really going to be impacted are the late night performances when we have music shows and stuff that go uh, past the 10 p.m. Um, weekday and 9 p.m. weekend hours for the building. Uh, but we can shift a lot of those over to our new space at PSZ. We have uh, the lunchroom where free lunch is currently located, and they use that during the day. But at night, we can do shows there, um, like we're doing this weekend with the So So Glows on Sunday night. Um, so that's kind of the update for now. Um, we're not folding in any capacity. We are just as strong as ever and this is a good opportunity for us to kind of uh, retool how we're doing some things and reimagine what we can do and um, and hopefully we will get to stay in that space a little longer we do have some long-term exhibitions that are planned something for February 2014 that we're hoping will still happen in the Jefferson building space but if not we will um, come up with new plans and find a new way to do our brand of art in Iowa City. Um, anyway, that's the update. As far as I know, I will continue to update everyone on the status of this, and uh, there's other videos to watch besides me talking. So thanks for your time, and hopefully this has clued you in a little more to what's going on with us. Thanks.